everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Leslie and thank you so much for joining me today. Please excuse my sexy voice. <laughs> we have, um, we, we're changing seasons here and it involves a lot of dust. So my allergies and, and all of that just flare up. But today I am going to be using the beautiful Whimsical collection from, from the one and only Paige Evans and Pink Paisley. So I bought this collection from her. Um, I uh, She had an ad up a couple of weeks ago um, that she has some um, collections that she can um, that she can sell herself. So I, I sent her, I don't know, I think about four Instagram messages and two <laughs> Facebook messages. And I think after that she she sort of gave in and um, sent me one. So I got my collection from, from, from Paige herself. Um, so I got the whole collection. I have everything, uh, except the 12 by 12 paper pad, but that I, um, uh, I am getting from scrapbook.com. So I am going to be scrapbooking this photo of myself and it's so fun I have, my cousin is visiting me at the moment and um, we went to a sort of like a beach um, uh, what do you call it like a it's a beach area but it's very lawny and it's very hippie and it's 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 very um, cool you know <laughs> so there's all these little areas and um, these incredible photo opportunities now i don't like taking photos of myself <laughs> not at the moment after four babies my body has um has has completely gone its own gone its own route so <laughs> hence i i don't like taking photos of myself but she convinced me to pose for a few photos and i just thought you know what the hell i mean honestly um uh, I have to pep talk myself into thinking that it's okay, get over yourself. And I hope that this is the lesson that you take from, from this video today. Is to, you know what, if you're overweight, get over it. If you, are, if you have extra pounds, just, just get over it. It's okay. <laughs> um, you know, um, if, you are, if you have a beautiful family and you have people that love you and that you have enough food in your house to feed your family and if you live in a house if you have a roof over your head um you know what more do you want honestly um are you going to spend your whole life being obsessed about your weight and spend so much energy on your weight that you can you could rather spend that energy on your children. You could spend that energy on your creative, um, uh, you know, on being creative, on, on, on caring for other people, on, you know, all, all of those things. Are you really going to spend all of that energy on something that doesn't really, I, I don't know how to say this without offending some people, but, you know, you, if you die, you don't take your body with you. So, you know, really, be healthy. But healthy doesn't necessarily mean that you are a stick figure. If you're a stick figure, that's wonderful. That's great. That's fabulous. That's what I teach my kids. You know, God made us all differently. Some people have big ears. Some people have small ears. Some people have brown eyes. Some people have blue eyes. Some people are a bit more cuddly. Other people's are... Um, you know a bit skinnier and you know th th that's sort of how I how we, we do it in our household but it, it is difficult sometimes you know when you when you can't fit into into your pants or <laughs> you know <laughs> then you just gotta go buy yourself some new pants <laughs> but anyways long story short is I actually posed for some photos and I have a little skirt on and I'm very proud of myself that I allowed myself to be photographed in this way so she told me how to pose and um, I told her how to sort of angle the camera and so forth so it was a joint effort so I've got a really bunch of 
I've got a bunch of really nice photos that I'm going to be scrapping in the next couple of weeks of myself. And I have no issues in scrapping photos of myself. It's not about um, me being, um, uh, what do I, how do I say this? Um, I don't have issues with people scrapping photos of themselves. I don't think it is vain. I don't think it is conceited. Um, you have to scrap yourself as well. You can't just scrap everybody around you and your kids and then one day when your kids are all grown up and they think, well, where, mommy, where are you? You're not in one of these albums. So I am going to be scrapping some photos of myself and I am going to, uh, I think I'm going to like it. So here is all my whimsical goodness, my whimsical fabulousness. So I am very excited about using these. Um, I, as I said, I got everything. I even got the charms, the, the butterfly charms and the, you know, everything except the top. I top paper bag, but that I'm getting. So I absolutely love these. I, I know I'm going to be using these a lot. Like they stretch a hell of a long way because there's a million of each letter. So let me get started on my process. Oh, another thing. Sorry, I'm talking so much today. I'm in a talkative mood with my sexy voice and everything. But um, I did a video a couple of days ago with some music and the overwhelming majority of the comments that I got was no music, talk please. So I am going to be listening to my wonderful subscribers and I'm going to be talking in my videos from now on and uh, no music. So <laughs> here we go. Let me let me put you guys on fast forward and I will be working on my um, layout. Okay, so here I have um, the paper number five and I'm going to be cutting out all of those little um, uh, hexagons and then I, you'll see what I'm going to be doing with them. I'm going to be trying to place them in rainbow order. Just something quickly. Um, <laughs> I think you heard my little baby girl um, while I was talking just now. That is her when she is having an absolute ball with her older brothers and sisters. So I know it sounds alarming, all the screaming in the background, but that's just Lucy having an absolute ball with them. So you might hear her still now having a little scream every once in a while, but <laughs> that's just her having some fun. I realize that it might sound a bit hysterical um, <laughs> coming over <laughs> the voiceover, but that's just her having some fun. Okay, so here I am um, just trying to place the, the, the little hexagons in some Uh, in, in, a, in a rainbow order and um, I'm going to be using those hexagons with the flower patterns on as well because I'm going to be focusing on the background color and behind the flowers mostly um, while I'm putting them in rainbow order and you'll see that I am spacing them out quite um... <laughs> there you go there you hear her she's having a ball <laughs> um, the, uh, I'm going to be spacing them out about probably about half a centimeter um, from each other because I want the white of the background paper to be um, seen behind the hexagons and um, I'm going to um, sort of like a honeycomb um, effect because um, a honeycomb has like this little uh, it has like this little border around every um, around every little hexagon. So this is going to take me a little bit of time. I am going to be fussing about with it a little bit because I want the you know the arrangement to be just perfect. And I was um, thinking that I would focus most of the color on the left hand side of the page, sort of have a have a vertical design down the left hand side of the page. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing on the right hand side of the page yet. I know I can't leave it white like that, um, but I am going to be um, doing something there. So, um, so there you'll see that I am just going through all the colors, still trying to figure out. And, and I want to place the, 
the little hexagons with the flowers and I want to sort of um, space them out uh, quite nicely and um, quite randomly as well and evenly so that there's a bit of uh, flower or floral design in each of the little um, color bits so um, so yes and there I am just organizing that little bit um, I was I was running out of um, little hexagon bits and I needed to figure out what I was going to do over there so I'm um, um, at the top there there's this little open space so I just take one of the darker orange bits and I pop it in that spot and then I just take a lighter yellow bit and put it on to the left hand side of the layout and I know there's a bit cut off there but it's still the basic shape and you don't even see it in the end um, so I'm going to be sticking those um, very lightly uh, to the to the paper just with a teeny tiny little bit of um, my ATG glue just so that they don't move around because um, I was planning on stitching just a very plain back stitch through the edges of the hexagons and I'm going to be using some white embroidery thread and um, I didn't want the thick six strand um, effect so I split the embroidery thread and I'm just only going to be using three strands and that also um, it gives it a little bit more of a delicate um, aspect to it but it's also much easier to to thread <laughs> so um, <clears throat> excuse me so it is it is a lot easier to thread now I'm fussing about trying to see where I want to place my photo and I am thinking I want to place my photo over the 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 yellow um, bit of of the rainbow um, that I created there and um, just because the majority of the photo is yellow and it's going to fit in there really nicely I'm not taking anything away from the rainbow effect that I am trying to create there so there you'll see I'm just going back and forth and back and forth doing my plain old backstitch around the edges of each of those hexagons so this is what I decided I'll do on the other side I traced one of the hexagons I had left with some pencil and then I made little holes and there you see all the little holes I erased the pencil marks and I stitched all of that but before I stitched it I realized that I wanted to do some or I decided that I wanted to do some splatters now uh, I'm proud of myself that I thought ahead about <laughs> thought I thought ahead um, before I stitched so I decided that I'm going to be doing some of the splatters otherwise if you do the stitching first and then you do the splatters the splatters bleed into the thread and then you don't get nice round splats you get these little splats that bleed into the thread and then it looks a bit messy and and, and so on so I did choose my colors and um, some Heidi Swap color shine so um, I've got butter over there that I'm using and the orange is called mustard and then I go into the teal green colors and this is the teal green that I'm using there is a sprinklers um, called Miss Mary Mac the next color that I'm going to be using I think is another um, yeah it's another Heidi Swap color shine it's called sea foam and that gives it a I mean the Miss Mary Mac is a chalky chalky um, finish and that sea foam is, has got some shimmer to it so that gives it a nice contrast so this next one is a Mr. Huey's called Audrey. It's very dark um, and however it does shine with a nice little shimmer as well. That purpley color is also Heidi Swap color shine. It's called Amethyst. It's also very dark to begin with but it dries very um, light with a very nice shimmer. The next color is just plain hot pink from Heidi Swap. It also um, it's very bold it also dries very bold so um, be you know use that one sparingly <laughs> so there you go there's my rainbow splatters and I love the way that turned out I'm going to um, be embellishing a little bit on the right hand on the left hand side excuse me while those splatters dry because I don't want to do any stitching while it's wet otherwise the thread is going to you know stitch through wet paper and wet splatters and then the thread is going to be colored and all of that so I do pop some of those um, embellishments and um, they, they are from the 12 6 by 12 sticker sheet and I do pop some of them up on some foam squares and I decided I'll put two little 
puffy stickers and one on the top right one on the bottom left corner of my photo just to give some interest and I like the way that the colors complement you know the photo and also um, the background in that I really wanted to use one of these uh, paper clips with the nice little tassel on it so I decided to use the yellow as it'll be on that side the, the top side of the 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 page and that is sort of where all the yellow goes so um so my paper is dry now and I am going to be stitching those hexagons and this is a hell of a lot of stitching on this layout. <laughs> it's very basic. I mean, there's not, it, it is, it, it wasn't challenging. It just took a while and it was a lot and I didn't want to smudge any of the splatter. So I was taking care of where I was putting my fingers while I was holding the, the paper. And there you go. There you see all my stitching. And you see the stitching didn't, oh, the splatters didn't bleed onto the stitching because I dried the splatters before I did the stitching. So always plan, people. Always plan. I have to learn how to plan sometimes. <laughs> but in this instance, I did. So there you go. You see all that texture and all that interest on the right-hand side of the page as well. Now, it's not only just a big open space, a negative space, but it's got negative space with some interest and some texture. Um, I am going to be just placing a little tag um, in the bottom left hand corner of the layout. It seemed a bit bare on one of the little, uh, you know, pink hexagons and I wanted something of interest in there. Now, this is exactly the same color as the hexagon. However, it does, you do see that there is something there. So it doesn't bother the eye too much that there it seems to be nothing there in the end. I have this beautiful, um, beautiful tissue paper. It's got like little lined clouds on it or little scallops or something scallops. I don't know. Anyway, so I wanted a very messy um, layering behind my photo. I didn't want any paper layering or um, any of the other embellishments layered behind the photo as the, I felt that there was enough color and I didn't want to take away from all of that beautiful hexagon fabulousness uh, behind the photo. So I just used this tissue paper and it worked like a charm. Um, it added interest and texture and um, a lot of volume to my photo as well. And it, um, you can still see the color behind it. So I'm just going to use in, be using my ATG to just stick those layers together. They are very finicky and it is quite cumbersome to try and keep the layers where you want them and um, they do move but in the end it really works out pretty well and I really like it. Now it would have been even more shoo wow if I <laughs> had some <laughs> um, uh, fun foam and put a big rectangle of fun foam under my photo and under the tissue paper but alas I can't seem to find affordable fun foam. Yes, you heard me right. Affordable fun foam here. They, um, I'm not sure why they do it in Dubai. They separate all the packs of fun foam and then they sell each color separately and they sell each page separately and it is ridiculously expensive. Off camera, I do add a title from Bella Boulevard. It's an acid, um, is it an acetate piece? Acrylic piece, sorry. Happy and some... Uh, white foam stickers and the title will be Happy Me.